Okay, we're not talking about autopilot. We're not talking about full self-driving. Today, we're talking about robot taxis, the RoboTaxi, and how it's much closer than you actually think. Just 24 hours ago, Elon Musk uh, tweeted about the RoboTaxi, the unveil event, what's coming. So today, we're gonna talk about what exactly did he announce? Uh, number two, what exactly does it mean? Number three, what was promised? And four, what do I think about all this? Let's get started. Okay, so what exactly happened? Uh, Friday, April 5th, Elon took to Twitter to announce RoboTaxi unveil is happening on August 8th. That's insane. Like, okay, what exactly does that mean? It's been a while, uh, nothing's been talked about. We knew that this year was the year that nothing was going to be unveiled. I mean, he made that very clear um, on one of the shareholder meetings. And so we knew that this year was going to be a little bit slower and that's okay. More focus on the vehicles that are there today and delivering them. But we got this surprise announcement. Of course, the internet went crazy when they heard this and we don't really know exactly what this means, but we can dissect it and kind of figure out what is to be expected come August 8th. You see, a robo taxi may mean something completely different than what you think it is. And that's all that Elon basically tweeted about. There was no follow up to that, no more details on that. So we don't know exactly uh, what else is there to be expected. Are we going to be able to ride in it? What is it? Uh, we don't know. There's a lot of uh, unanswered questions, but I think this is the most time that he's ever given in advance before an actual event. Usually it's like, a month, sometimes even two weeks before an event that you get heads up notice. So now we know to expect something in August later this year. That's exciting, that's fun. Now, what exactly uh, does this mean? Well, robo taxi is different from full self-driving. You see, there's been a lot of focus on every Tesla comes with what's called autopilot. That allows you to stay in your lane, it maintains the speed and so forth. Then there is uh, full self-driving, which basically the car drives completely autonomously, but it needs to be supervised. It means you need to be behind the wheel, you need to be holding the wheel. Well, that is all in its own suite comes on every consumer level vehicle, but Elon had promised that at some point, every consumer would be able to take their car and essentially turn it into a robot taxi. Uh, that dream, that vision has always been a cool thing to keep in the back of your mind that at one day, if my car is not being used, I can send it out to go and make money for me if I'm not using the vehicle. But I don't think that's exactly what this is. You see, not too long ago at one of the shareholder meetings, uh, Tesla did talk about a specific vehicle for robot taxi. Think Waymo. What Waymo is doing in San Francisco and in Arizona and especially these pilot locations is they have a vehicle that truly has nobody in the driver's seat. And I think that's exactly what Tesla is doing here. The robo taxi is its own specialized vehicle. I think we've seen renders where it looks like a pretty clear vehicle where everyone can sit facing each other and there's no driver. Um, this is going to have to be a very specific means they're gonna have to get approvals in cities to run this, similar to what Waymo is doing. Um, but I think they've got a lot more data and will offer a much better experience and will allow much rapid expansion faster than what Waymo or any of those other self-driving vehicles are doing today. So this is pretty exciting. What will this new vehicle look like? I don't know, we've seen some of the renders. I think and I hope that it'll look fairly futuristic, but expect no steering wheel, no driver's seat. That's what I think. Um, and that's the robot taxi. So think about a vehicle coming to pick you up. No driver. Some of you guys have experienced this with Waymo, but I think Tesla's gonna have a much better expansion rate than what Waymo is able to do. Okay, so what was promised was the ability to take your vehicle and send it off. Today, as you've seen in my full self-driving video, is full self-driving has gotten really good. I mean, I still need to be present, but I feel like the nag could go away, but I still need to be there, eyes still on the road. It's pretty good to almost, I kind of feel like you don't need to, but you still need to. There are still occasions where it messes up. Um, and I think because of that, they're going to separate the two. Robot taxi is gonna be different than the full self-driving fleet. Now, could the full self-driving and the robot taxi come together? Uh, maybe at some point. Uh, maybe you'll be able to offer full self-driving in your vehicle in a supervised 
taxi fashion, that might become available. But whatever software is running on the robot taxi is going to be different, I would have to imagine, since today the full self-driving suite does not allow it to be unsupervised. And regarding the name change, that was interesting because you change the name, why would you change the name to supervise instead of the full self-driving beta? That was very strategic in doing so, and I think that would lead more to this Robo Taxi, which will really offer a full self-driving experience. Okay, lastly, what do I think about all this? I, I mean, I've seen Waymo in the city. It's amazing. It's very wild to see a vehicle driving completely autonomously, and it's for the most part, everyone who's used it said it's been pretty handy. Um, of course, it has its occasional mess ups and I'm sure Tesla's gonna have to figure out how to address that, but it's been really good and performed really well. Now, if Tesla can do the same thing, it's gonna give Waymo a run for their money, number one. Uh, number two, they're gonna be able to expand faster than Waymo has been able to do in these select cities because I think Tesla's gonna be able to show that their vehicles don't need to be mapped. Their vehicles can do a better job handling obstacles. Now, how it's able to do it just on vision, which was always a questionable thing in the past that Waymo's got LiDAR and radar and vision, whereas Tesla only has vision. So that leads me to believe, will the Robo Taxi have more than just vision, thus be able to get those approvals, thus be able to offer an even safer ride because it's already so good with vision base based on all the the data that it's collecting, but if you add you know, radar and LiDAR on top of that, it's gonna make it a foolproof solution. You never know. So I'm really curious to know. Here's what I think. I think the RoboTaxi is gonna be its own unique one-of-a-kind vehicle. I think it's gonna look different. When you see it, you're gonna wanna get in it. You're gonna know what it is. You're gonna wanna take pictures with it, just like they did with the Cybertruck. Number two, I feel like they're not gonna just do it on vision. They're gonna add more stuff to it. Um, I, I think they're gonna just make it the most foolproof, safest vehicle that you can taxi in. And number three, I think it's gonna be priced very, very competitively. And lastly, I think they're gonna offer the ability to be able to have more people in it. So it's gonna be a bigger vehicle. That's what I think. I'm curious to know what do you think? Let me know down in the comments down below. And remember, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and like this video if you did like what we talked about. Let me know what you think down below on this robo taxi. What does Elon Musk and Tesla have coming on August 8th? I'm gonna try to get there. Hopefully I get an invite, Tesla, send me an invite. Um, but yeah, we'll know very soon what the future of self-driving and robot taxis is gonna look like.